Hi, I'm Gavin. In this video, I'm going to introduce our charity partner and give you an update on our upcoming events. So our charity partner is Hertfordshire's Young Homeless. Um, they are Hertfordshire based and um, they tackle the issue of young homeless, trying to tap into it at source. So nipping it in the bud and trying to educate younger children so that that doesn't stem and then go on to potentially people sleeping rough and, and being on the streets of Hertfordshire. So here at DOT, um, you know, one of our values is it's, it's not just caring about the people we work with, but it's also the people around us. Uh, on my very first day at the job, for the first time meeting two of my colleagues face to face with a socially distanced coffee, we uh, we spoke about numerous things, and one of one of which was was our values, uh, personal and, and and company values. They shined a bit more light onto their own background. One of my colleagues, he had actually been involved with a charity uh, back in India, where he was involved in in physically going out. Uh, to remote villages and helping to build wells. What then stemmed from that was also uh, a more local to, to me here in Hertfordshire, um, a cause to my colleague that was more dear to his heart was um, the problem of, of homeless people uh, and, and the young homeless as well. So uh, after discussing the this, this cause, I then went out to look for a potential charity partner uh, as it struck a chord with me as well after you know not much searching because they 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 were fairly active i found hertfordshire young homeless um i got to talk with the team there uh, really nice um really down to earth they were more than obliging to 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 fill me in on what they do and um and how they achieve to do it so you know i, I was quite taken back with with one of the one of the things that they told me was their their funding was cut cut from seventy eight percent down to around forty six percent over the last five years. So having having a you know an input and a cooperation with with an external party like DOT is is key now more than ever. What they would do is um, with the funding they would then go and educate young people and try and nip this problem in the bud trying to give them life skills so that, that this didn't develop into a, a bad situation, thus being them, them being on the street. Uh, with that comes DOT's inclusion into the, into the charity. And uh, one of our next events is actually uh, a sponsored firewalk, which I will be undertaking myself. And, uh, and, and yeah, and, and walking across fire for, for the greater cause. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, that will be taking place on the 1st of July at Stevenage Town Football Club. If you go onto the, the DOT website, you will be able to see the, uh, the Just Giving page and also further details on that particular event. So please like, share, comment and subscribe.